as bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. The doors of the IEC pavilion have finally opened for the second day of the Congress. Salesian Bishop Patricio Buzon led the morning praise celebrating the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. He exhorted everyone to be transformed like St. Paul by entering into the darkness of our true self, by recognizing our helplessness before God and letting go of our claims and control. Franciscan Archbishop Miguel Cabrejos Vidarte gave a pastoral reflection on the theme of the Congress, Christ in You, Our Hope of Glory, taken from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verse 27. Archbishop Vidarte said that we cannot separate the gospel from the church and the church from the gospel as they are inextricably joined. We have a responsibility to proclaim God's word and that it should reach everyone because if it has not, it does not reach its full realization. Finally, Archbishop Vidarte reminds us to pray because the lungs of evangelism are prayer. In his deeply moving testimony of the perils and promises in the church in China, Joseph Cardinal Zen of Hong Kong recalled the lives of Chinese martyrs during the communist regime. Even up to these days, the Christian witnessing of faith remains a challenge for some authorities who oppose Christianity would use money and power. Archbishop Piero Marini, President of the Pontifical Committee for International Eucharistic Congress, presided over the Mass held in the morning. Bishop Marini emphasized the call to constant and renewed conversion. He pointed out that the marks of the glorious passion of Jesus are not entrusted in a book or in any communication, but by our daily actions that either affirm or deny the life of Jesus. A press conference was held in the afternoon. In attendance were Archbishop Marini, who is also president of the Pontifical Committee for IEC, Bishop Vittore Bucardi, secretary of the Pontifical Committee for IEC, Bishop Milo Vergara, chairman of the IEC Communications Department, Father Joe Kilong Kilong, member of the IEC Theological Commission. Archbishop Palma was grateful for the faithful support as the crowd turnout was beyond expectations. He also said that the IEC will bring about transformative grace to us as we prepare for the forthcoming elections. Concurrent sessions were held in the afternoon at the Waterfront Hotel and the IEC Pavilion. Former Master of the Order of Preachers, Timothy Radcliffe, spoke on the Christian virtue of hope. He cited four ways to promote hope amid people and communities caught in terrible suffering. To stay put, to pray, to do good things the Lord wants you to do today, to study and teach people, especially the young, and to care for children. Blessed Sacrament Father Paul Vucci He, reflecting on the theme, the manifold dimensions of Eucharistic hope, Father He expanded on how the Eucharist unites transforms and summons us to work for future glory where everyone is given Christ himself. Biblical scholar Salesian Francis Maloney spoke on the Word of God, Jesus Christ, and the Eucharist, Christian hope in the secularizing world. He challenged everyone saying, we are all potentially divine. We are all potentially Jesus as we live the divine in us, the deepest in us, through devoted study of God's Word and participation in the Eucharist. When asked about what makes a Eucharistic person, Father Moloni quoted St. John Bosco, bread, work, and paradise. Greek Orthodox lay theologian Ambassador Tamara Jurgilich on the Church is Woman, the missionary and pastoral role of women in the Church, says that both Catholic and Orthodox churches appreciate the active participation of women in pastoral ministry. Speakers for the third day include Bishop Robert Barron, who will speak on the Eucharist, celebration of the Paschal Mystery, Orlando Cardinal Quevedo on the Eucharist makes the Church, the Church makes the Eucharist, 
Dr. Josefina Manabat on the Eucharist Cup of Sacrifice Banquet of the Kingdom, Father Luciano Feloni on Washing the Feet of the Poor, the Eucharist and the Priesthood, and Monsignor Diego Ponce on Evangelization and Popular Religiosity. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This is Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. That Christ in us is our hope of glory. He brought a ray of light and he rekindled our hope. And let our 